by the Committee of Labour on their um, um, on their rejection of Phyllis Wamboi Washaga Washaja as the nominee uh, for appointment as a member of Salaries and Remuneration Commission. And Honorable Speaker, uh, having looked at the report of the committee, Honorable Speaker, I want to commend the chair for really standing out for the young people of this country. Honorable Speaker, just a perusal, you'll see that uh, Madam Phyllis has been a has been a, an officer in uh, the public domain for quite a long time. Her worth is close to five, half a billion Kenya shillings, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, we are actually not doing this country a, a service. When, Honorable Speaker, we are having appointments of people above 75 years of age. Honorable Speaker, it is not okay and it is not right to give a 75-year-old a job that requires them to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning and go back to work at night, Honorable Speaker. As a young member of parliament and as a member of Kenya Young Parliamentarian, I want to support the committee and their analysis of these members should relax just be an advisor somewhere and ensure that things are running right. But the young people should be left to run these things. And this should apply to all areas, Honorable Speaker, that touch on the work that is uh, supposed to be done in this country. Even as Honorable Speaker, as members of Parliament, we should not push too far when the time and the old age has called on us. We would like to see a case where this country is representative of its population, which is almost 70% young people. And Honorable Speaker, His Excellency the President is in forefront really campaigning for our young people to get jobs. But Honorable Speaker, the SRC, which is one of the organizations that are involved in the payment of these people, Honorable Speaker, cannot be... <laughs> Uh, having a 75-year-old as a person to make decision on... <laughs> how, how old, uh, could we get you clearly, how old did you say the nominee is? 75 years, Honorable Speaker. And, <laughs> and we talk of octogenarian and uh, Honorable Speaker, even in politics, we don't want a case where this country is 70% young people. But our presidential candidates are hitting 80s uh, in terms of uh, age, Honorable Speaker. I believe we respect our old and we give them even money, Honorable Speaker, and ensure that they retire in peace. But let them leave the running of this country to the young blood and the vibrant young people, Honorable Speaker, that this country is made of, Honorable Speaker. I rise to support the decision by the committee. Thank you. The Honorable Donya Doris. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I support what the committee has proposed. Donya speaking here is a member of uh, Labour. And uh, on that fruitful day, we questioned uh, Dr. Phyllis. Indeed, we realized that uh, she was not uh, strong enough to fit. Um, in that uh, uh, commission, 75 years of age, Mr. Speaker, when Donya will be 75, I will be taking care of my many grandchildren. I will incite my children to have more babies so that I visit, if they are living in Ichungwa's uh, constituency, I do a visit. I'll be walking around visiting my grandchildren at 75. Taking care of, I have a, a pet called Bobby. Now that is the time you take care of the pets, you go to church, you participate in praise and worship at 75 years, so that at the age of 
are between 25 and 60, we leave it to the, the, the rightful people to work, uh, Mr. Speaker. But what, what is out of order, Honorable Chepkong? Majority Leader. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. You know, you know it's standing orders which require that when I stand, on a point of order, she must sit. In fact, she, what she's saying is the most right thing, uh, Mr. Speaker. I rise past one to standing order 95. As you can see, Mr. Speaker, everybody is in agreement. Two, when you are rejecting somebody, don't talk too much about the conduct of that person. It is only fair that you speak less because we are in agreement, all of us. Please preserve this person. As you hear on the Bodonia, as just said, this person is 95 years. Surely you know the Bible says that God has given you 70 years and by reason of strength, 80. And you know she remains with 75 years of reason of strength. So, Mr. Speaker, would I be in order?